Stuff like that's pretty cool to think about. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't believe in a lot of you know stuff just because there's so much of it. But mm-hmm. have you seen the documentary on Amazon Prime? No. It's called The Last Narc. And it basically talks about That was a good one. Basically how can I say this without them hearing? It talks about the They're already, here, they're already listening. I know. The drug gangs in Mexico that were infiltrated by an agent mm-hmm. that was trying to figure out why Kiki Camarena, that's how you say his last mm-hmm. name, was murdered. Kidnapped and murdered and tortured for information. And so this guy, like, was... Texas boy, too. Yeah. He was U.S. government, and he was on a mission to that figure... That name sounds familiar. He was, on the, he was on the Netflix in Mexico. The agent, played by Michael Pena. Oh, okay, that's why. So they yeah. did a documentary, oh. and the agent that was in charge... Of finding out why he got murdered is what this documentary is oh, about, okay, The Last cool. Snark. Oh, okay. And basically, they well, just the U.S. Now. government effed him over, just like they did Kiki. Well, just like they've done a lot of people. And that's what I'm saying. So, we, you know, we, it's all kind of funny because we talk about conspiracy theories and all that until they're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you... Did you uh, he listened to the podcast... Of the author that wrote that book on uh, what's his name, um, Helter Skelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's About crazy. the MK Ultra and all that. Yeah, yeah. all that should happen, buddy. Exactly. And so it's crazy how the the, the doctor that yeah. was, I think, working at that clinic was the same one that did uh, psychological. That saw the who's the guy that killed uh, Oswald? JF, yeah, the JFK. The, the guy yeah. that got killed Oswald. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, whenever he was in handcuffs and mm-hmm. getting. Okay, he he uh, saw that same doctor. Did the evaluation on him? Yeah, because that guy was like, he didn't remember shooting Oswald at all, and he was going crazy. What is and all Helter this. Skelter? That's the name of the book. I can't remember his name now. Um, but what's yeah, the name of that guy? God damn it! What he I was the neighbor of Greg Fitzsimmons, and that's how Joe got. Uh, <sighs> I have it in my head. It's just I have to see. I didn't take any alpha brain. I would remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a book that he had been working on for twenty years. Mm-hmm. I mean, researching Charles sh- Manson. Yeah, That's Charles, the book Manson, on Charles but Manson. But it's called. Uh, I don't remember. What are you talking about? The book. The book that the guy wrote. Oh, I can find he that. was a, a, a investigative journalist, and he had he got put on to do a, a story about something. And some started on Rolling Stone, didn't it? Yeah, and then as he kept, you know, chaos. There you go. Mm-hmm. Charles Manson, the CIA, and the history. Tom O'Neill. Tom that was the name yeah, of the, the yeah. author that came out on the Joe yeah. Rogan podcast. He was on. He was on the podcast with him, and he talked about it. I have yet to read the book. It I took most, like two decades, didn't it? Twenty years mm-hmm. for him to it. write it. So for basi- write that book. Yeah. Yes, because and the. Go ahead, man. Sorry. I I'm gonna paraphrase, and I'm gonna try to put it. As well as I can, just because I. It's been a while since that podcast came out. Yeah, and basically there was a uh, a clinic that Manson was going to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, his job was to bring like hippies over, like basically bring government, like women, right? Yeah, like hippies. Hippies, and I think it was men too, but mm-hmm. they were young, so they were basically going to this clinic to get treated it was essentially i think given lsd lsd because they were trying to figure out how to use lsd to kind of manipulate people to 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 go out and do things for them and they had a they had a brothel and it was called uh the project was uh midnight climax where they had a brothel and they would bring a bunch of guys uh there and basically give them LSD and kind of do a bunch of experiments on them. And so they're connecting, you know, all that with Manson and basically kind of molding him to this guy that basically teaching him how to do it. And they're tying that into the uh, murders that happened. Um, uh, you in, to read in, that? In, in in relation to him, because he could have very well used the same tactics they were doing to him 
to get these people to kill, you know, whoever he wanted to kill. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And they tied it to the JFK assassination by, uh, I think the doctor that was working there was like the one that kind of... um, here it is right here, man. Look. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is the the notes from Joe Rogan's podcast with uh, Tom O'Neill. After shooting Lee Harvey Oswald, Jack Ruby Jack was Ruby. placed in a jail. A doctor who was actually a CIA agent visited Jack Ruby in jail. In 24 hours later, after their meeting, Ruby went insane, and his testimony in court was ruled out because he, he was incoherent. My most important finding is that a CIA contracted agent or researcher for mind control became that witness's doctor right before he testified and told his story. And that, and then he goes crazy. And then when we talk about the Operation Midnight Climax, the CIA would lure men into brothels, dose them up with LCD without their knowledge, and then study their behavior through a one-way mirror. Yeah. LSD. Yes. And then no. what was the motive for the CIA to turn Charles Manson into a murderer? The CIA believed hippies, along with other anti-war groups, would start a civil war in the U.S. to prevent that from happening. They took one of the most well-known hippies, Charles Manson, and turned him into a killer so that hippies would no longer be seen in a positive light. The CIA's main goal was to use drugs and hypnosis to create assassins who would kill on command and have no memory of their programming and not remembering the act of killing. I.e. JFK. Yeah, Manson became exactly what the CIA was trying to create. And that's a quote from Tim uh, O'Neill. MK Ultra was a CIA government program that ran experiments by administering LSD to mental patients, prisoners, drug addicts, and sex workers. It was a mind control program, a brainwashing program. The CIA was trying to learn how to control people's behavior without their knowledge. Tim O'Neill. And this isn't bullshit. This is this guy's legit. Yeah, everything that he talks about on this episode, which everyone should watch or listen. It's good. Or, or if you want, read the book as well, because it goes into more detail mm-hmm. about everything. He just kind of can only fit so much in three hours but it's crazy shit mm-hmm. that sounds so crazy I and that's what i'm saying like everything the coincidence is that, that the guy that you know saw jack ruby after that happened was mm-hmm. the same guy from you know california mm-hmm. doing all that shit over there and he assassinated the only guy that knows mm-hmm. the truth about what happened for jfk mm-hmm. so and that's why we go back mm-hmm. to Kike. Kike, so the person who was torturing him for information mm-hmm. ended up being a CIA operative. He was Cuban, according to the, the Amazon document. It's pretty good. I gotta watch it. And it's then really after that, he leveled up in the U.S. Yeah. I think he's uh, some kind of a... Uh, Makes well, sense. We have a computer here. It's so fucked it up, makes though. Sense. It falling, is so uh, falling fucked up. up. What's that term called? Falling upwards? Or like when you do something bad, then you get promoted? That's exactly what we mm-hmm. were talking about. <coughs> you get rewarded a term for, for bad behavior. For bad yeah. behavior. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Why does that happen? Why does why does society like function that way? I You're referring to uh, what's her name? What's her name? Amber Heard, right? Yeah, or just anyone. Not a crazy bitch. She's hot, but she's fucking crazy. Yeah. See, this is. El País. <laughs> the CIA helped kill DEA agent Ricky Camarena says a witness. Former U.S. law enforcement officials admit that drug agents 1985 wasn't just the work of Rafael Cara Quintero. A surprising allegation concerning the enigmatic in- matter of a U.S. drug enforcement in Mexico three decades ago may have turned the tide against Washington. I wouldn't put it past them. They could do they, from all the stuff that government Yeah, but has, the, that guy, he never got Mm-mm. He never got up. Yeah, usually, that happens a lot. Yeah, so the, the, C, the CIA connection claims are now being brought to light by Phil Jordan, the former director of DEA's powerful El Paso Intelligence Center in Texas, former DEA agent Hector Berrayes. I think that's... Wh- that's the last narc. That's the guy. That's the. I think that's the guy. That's his name. The one that basically is telling the mm-hmm. majority of it. And Tosh Plumley, who maintained he was hired to fly covert missions on behalf of U.S. intelligence. The three men spoke to Fox News in exclusive in TV broadcast last Thursday. When did that come out? When did this article this come article out? This article came out... 2013. Yeah, What's crazy is the CIA and the DEA, uh, or the, and the, like the CIA, FBI, all those agencies, they don't even trust each other. You would think that they're mm-hmm. under the same umbrella and they're 
you know, missions to do the same thing, but they they got people that they they spy on each other all the time. It's weird. I mean, shit like this just and that and just like the story with um that movie Tom Cruise did where he's that pilot that was flying mm-hmm. American Made, that was yeah. the name of it. Yeah. American Made. Flying mm-hmm. drugs into uh the US. Landing him in Arkansas. And at the time, guess who the governor was of Arkansas at that time? Yeah. Mr. Bill Clinton. Bill, Bill Clinton, yeah. I think they found out about it. I could I could be getting the story wrong, but apparently they had made a drop and like some kids, some boys found out about it. And they found those those kids went missing, and they found them dead on a train track somewhere. But like, uh, I want to say stab wounds. But when it did the up, when I think their parents had did a separate uh, up autopsy on them, and they died. I forgot how they died, but from what the initial autopsy was was different than what. You know, the doctors that yeah. did their own personal one found out. It's like, no, somebody killed these kids. Holy shit. Yeah. And I, I can only guess who, who was the one that killed them. I this guy right like here, man, Jorge Gordoy. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker, bro, is crazy. He's in the documentary. He is always coming up with, he always shows like in uniform. Mm-hmm. And like in one of the, I remember vividly in one of the scenes, he's like, he says, I'm done, I'm paraphrasing. They think I'm fucking done. Y'all think I'm fucking done. I'm going to fucking tell everybody and the fucking episode finishes. Oh, no shit. It's a good one, man. I got to watch it. Yeah, it's a good one. It's on Prime. I got Prime, yeah. thankfully. But that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, you know, and, and I kind of I, I kind of, I kind of understand, like, how people are, have, like, this um distrust for government. Yeah. Because, dude, so much shit that, like, again, it's a conspiracy theory, but then, like, until it's not. Yeah. Well, and I feel like these are just examples why people don't want big government. That's why yeah. people are so And it goes government. back to the what brought up this whole thing is the vaccine. <laughs>